Okay guys, so today we are reviewing cheap but so impressive for its price Micromax Q479. In this video I will actually be reviewing my own Q479 that served me as a second phone for a good one year without a change. So besides the factory specs and features, and the first look and the feel of the phone, I am also going to be sharing with you everything about my personal experience with the phone. So if you are ready, buckle up, we are beginning. The packaging of the device of this class is pretty standard, nothing too fancy, a small box of not the best quality inside, the device, power adapter, user manual, warranty papers and a pair of headphones. I gotta say in advance guys that the sound of those headphones is not great, which is expected. But not just that, the rubber pads for ears are prone to falling out and you're likely to lose them and that happened to me. The smartphone itself features dual slot for SIM cards. The phone works with 4G networks, which is great, and has a slot for a mini SD card for up to 32GB. The battery is 2300mAh, which is not a lot, but nothing to complain about at this price point. The back cover of the smartphone feels like soft touch, but it's not actually soft touch. Pay attention how worn out the back cover gets over time. You have to keep this in mind if you are planning on getting the device. The back camera is 8 megapixel autofocus, which can produce somewhat decent pictures in good lighting. Two separate volume keys on the side, lock and lock button, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. At the front, the smartphone has three buttons on the bottom, 2 megapixel frontal camera. The screen is IPS, not the best IPS, but I never had problems with brightness. Even on really sunny days, the brightness was enough. Smartphone runs Android 6.0, it has 2GB of RAM, again, impressive for one of the cheapest smartphones on the market. The smartphone also uses Bluetooth 4.0. The phone is quick and snappy, it performed better than I expected. The processor is enough for most of daily tasks such as browsing internet and YouTube, but guys, you should note that this processor is slow for many up-to-date games. So don't plan on playing PUBG on the device, it would not run. All in all, I haven't had issues in regards to speed and performance of the device. What I did have issues with is another thing. And that thing is sensor. I have to be honest, sensor is pretty terrible on this phone. It lags, it lags a lot. It lags even when the screen is clean. Sensor is number one big issue on the phone. I carried this phone with me as a media player and sort of a media storage because it's not the best for communication. The big issue number two is the speaker. It's very quiet, plus it is located on the other side of the phone, which is very uncomfortable. So what are the conclusions of this phone? It's an affordable phone with very impressive specs for its price. It can act as a second phone, like I used it, as it has expandable memory, 3.5mm headphone jack, and can act as a media player for your music, movies, audiobooks, ebooks, podcasts, etc. The disadvantages are that you have to keep your screen very clean for the sensor, not to lag terribly. The back cover, which gets very worn over time and has to be replaced at some point. And a quiet speaker. But considering ridiculously low price for this phone, it is a good effort from Micromax and will certainly find its buyer. If you liked this review, please hit that like button and subscribe for the channel. What device or gadget you want to see on a review next time? Leave your replies in the comment section. This was Unbox Minutes and I'm signing out.